Hello everyone, uh, myself K. Kartiga, working as assistant professor in the department of commerce FME in KSR Women's College, Thirchangur. In this video, we are going to see about the important major subject for uh, commerce students that is principles of uh, accountancy. So, in principles of accountancy, we are going to see in uh, about the first unit. In first unit, uh, first we are going to see what is uh, mean by accounting. Uh, it should be said by as an introduction to accounting. Accounting is a system for measuring business activities, processing of information into reports and making the findings available to decision makers. So, accounting is a system uh, for uh, measuring the business uh, activities. So, in case of business, there should be uh, some transactions between people or any other uh, persons. Okay. So, that uh, accounting information should be uh, processed into uh, reports, converted into reports and then and that report should be helpful for the decision makers for uh, taking important decisions. So, the decision makers may be the investors or owners or any other persons. Next one is uh, accounting is understood as a language of business. There are uh, many uh, concepts of business. So, if, uh, to understand easily, it should be set as a language of business. Accounting should be said to be as a language of business. So, accounting is an art of recording the business transactions during the accounting period to know the financial position of the company. So, accounting is nothing but an uh, art of recording the business transaction in a, a particular manner or pre-written mind manner. So, it should be according uh, during the accounting period. That period may be a financial period. That means the financial period means April to March or it may be in calendar year. So, it means uh, January to December. So, the main purpose of preparing accounting is to know the financial position of the company. And next one is uh, at the end of the period, it shows the result of the transactions in the form of final accounts. At the end of the accounting period, so uh, it shows the result of the transactions. So, that result should be said to be as an uh, final accounts. Next, we are going to see about the definition of accounting. According to ICAI, accounting refers to the process of uh, recording, classifying, summarizing and analyzing and interpreting the results to the users who are interested in such information. First, we are going to see about uh, what is mean by recording. So, recording is nothing but it is a process of uh, entering each and every transactions in a particular manner. So, it may be uh, in a uh, recording in a journal uh, books or it may be in a subsidiary books. So, next one is classifying. So, classifying is nothing but it is a process of uh, uh, grouping or pre, uh, the transactions in a predetermined manner. The classification takes in a separate uh, books uh, is known as a ledger. So, next one is uh, summarizing. So, the classifying data in the ledger is presented in a periodically in a manner which is easily understandable. So, summarizing is in the form of a profit and loss account, trading account or balance sheet like that. So, next one is analyzing. So, in case of analyzing it is a checking it should be recorded in a significant manner or not is known as analyzing. So, next one is interpreting, interpreting, interpreting is a, of the result is a needed for various purposes. So, trends observed in sales, purchase, expenses, etc. are useful for future planning of, of operations. So, it should be useful for the um, interested parties, the parties who want to know about the portion of the company. Uh, next one, uh, next chapter is about uh, bookkeeping. So, bookkeeping is a recording of financial transactions. So, bookkeeping is nothing but a recording of each and every financial transactions. So, the transactions include sales, purchases, income and payments by an individual or maybe it may be uh, by an uh, organization. So, bookkeeping is usually prepared by the bookkeeper. So, it should not be uh, confused with the accounting. It is a separate one. Bookkeeping is a uh, entering of uh, transactions. It should be deferred from accounting. So, next we are going to see about the uh, accounting and the what is the difference between accounting and uh, the bookkeeping. So, uh, accounting in case of accounting it is performed by an accountant. So, accounting is prepared by an accountant. 
and bookkeeping is performed by prepared by a bookkeeper so uh, the purpose next one is a uh, purpose of uh, preparing accounting or objectives of preparing accounting is to to interpret or prepare financial statements etc so the objectives or the motive of preparing accounting is to interpret the financial for preparing the financial statements so in case of bookkeeping it's a process of recording and classifying and summarizing the transactions so next one is a result used by so it is useful in case of accounting it is useful for the internal users and also the external users internal users may be the management or employees like that external users or the owners creditors banks etc in case of bookkeeping it will be helpful to the accountants for preparing the uh, proper accounting statements next one is a method used or a principles applied so in case of accounting the gaps and ifrs uh, method should be applied for preparing accounting but in case of uh, bookkeeping Uh, single entry bookkeeping system uh, both uh, or uh, a double entry bookkeeping system or uh, used so next we are going to see about the objectives of accounting uh, first objective is a profitability assignment ascertainment or financial position forecasting general information let's we see one by one first one is uh, profitability ascertainment Uh, the main aim of preparing accounting is to know the profit of the business okay so uh, it shows the figures of profit earned by the business or losses incurred by the business enterprises so the main um, uh, purpose of preparing accounting is to uh, know the uh, profit earned by the business or loss incurred in the business uh, transactions okay. so next one uh, financial position so it shows the true financial position of the business position of assets and liabilities and helps the administrators to decide for future well being so it will be uh, in pre- the main motive of preparing accounting is to know the financial position of the business so and also to know the assets and liabilities uh, for the it is helpful for the administrators to know the future planning it will be helpful for them to decide about the future planning So next one is uh, generates information accounting generates information about the financiability of the business enterprise it provides the benchmark for the business to survive in the long run uh, run by providing with good sources of accurate data so it is a uh, in the do uh, the accounting we prepare accurate data about the business positions so uh, through the uh, accounting so we will prepare the uh, all the information relating to the finance next one is uh, forecasting accounting helps the business enterprise to predict the position of the business in the future and decide about the future uh, in the present so accounting is mainly helpful for predicting the future uh, position of the business so uh, uh, for purpose of uh, deciding anything uh, for uh, future uh, alterations or future expansion like that so it will be helpful for predicting the future next we are going to see about the advantages of uh, accounting so accounting replaces the human memory so um, uh, in case of uh, accounting accounting it will be uh, it not be uh, possible to uh, set in our memory all the transactions in the business throughout the year so it will be helpful for the human uh, to know about the whole accounting transactions so for for the purpose the accounting is prepared accounting helps in knowing the profit so accounting helps uh, to know the profit of the company accounting helps in knowing financial position of the organizations so the main purpose of preparing accounting is to know the financial position of the company uh, organization what the profit and loss what the gross profit and net profit uh, about the assets position and the liabilities position like that so accounting uh, next one is accounting helps in knowing list of creditors and debtors so each and every transactions in the business should be recorded so to know the creditors and debtors position so accounting helps to know about the creditors and debtors accounting helps in paying taxes so for the pay tax purposes for paying taxes companies profit should be submitted to the government so for knowing the position of the company so it will be helpful for paying the taxes 
Accounting helps in raising more funds by supplying information to investors and creditors. So, accounting helps uh, to know about the position of the company. So, it will be helpful for the creditors and also the investor to decide about the investment and uh, allowing credit to that business. And accounting helps in planning for expansion. Accounting helps uh, for uh, predicting uh, to know about the future. So, accounting helps to know about the uh, current position of the uh, organization uh, business current portion of the business that will be helpful for uh, the future expansion of the business. Accounting helps in getting bank loans. So in order to getting bank loans, we have to need to submit the financial statement of the business. So for that purpose, so accounting helps to uh, submit uh, to the banks for of accounting uh, statements for the for getting loans. Next, uh, we are going to see about the limitations of uh, 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 accounting. Uh, it records only monetary transactions. So, uh, in case of accounting, it records only the monetary transactions. Non-monetary tra transactions should not be recorded in case of accounting. And next one is, uh, it affects of uh, the price level changes not considered. So, price, uh, the value of money may change uh, due to inflation, so it should not be uh, recorded in case of accounting. So, personal bias of uh, third point is personal bias of accounts affect the accounting statement. So, uh, many items in the financial statement are left uh, to the personal judgment of the accountant. So, uh, so it, it, it can be created, accountants can pre prepare according to the bias, what they assume. So, it, uh, there is a chance of avoiding some necessary items. So, next one is uh, it permits alternative uh, treatments. So, financial accounting uh, allows uh, generally accepted uh, accounting principles uh, that there, ex uh, there exists more than uh, one principles for the uh, treatment of uh, one item. So, next one uh, profit uh, no real test of uh, managerial position. So, um, so in the here the motive of preparing accounting is now only to know the managerial position and also on the profit. Other uh, items are uh, not uh, included in the accounting. So, next we are going to see about uh, system of accounting. First one uh, we are going to see uh, there are two systems of accounting. First one is a single entry system and then second one is a double entry system. We are going to see first one uh, the single entry system. So, uh, it is one of the method of uh, maintaining accounts uh, which uh, do not conform to strict principles of uh, double entry system. So, under this system only personal accounts uh, with or without subsidy books are maintained. So, in case of single entry system only personal accounts uh, will, will be given more importance. So, or it may be prepared uh, uh, through the subsidiary books or with subsidiary books or without the subsidiary books based on the uh, business people. And next one, the system has no complete record of business transactions. So, in case of single entry system, there is no complete record for uh, each transaction like uh, double entry system. Because in double entry systems, uh, there should be a predetermined rule should be followed. So, but in case of single entry system, uh, should not be a predetermined rule should not be followed. Hence, neither a trade balance or a nor financial accounts can be preferred. So, in case of single entry system, uh, trial balance or uh, financial accounts should not be prepared. It is depend on the willingness of the business uh, businessman or owner of that business. Okay, next one. Uh, in this uh, single entry system, this is a less cost uh, costly system. So, mostly a small businessmen prefer single entry system uh, of uh, preparing accounts. So, next one is a uh, double entry system. It is a set of rules uh, for recording uh, financial information in a financial accounting system in which every transaction or even changes at least two different ledger accounts. So, uh, in case of double entry system, uh, we should not uh, think that it, uh, there should be a uh, two a system for, uh, um, uh, for each transaction. So, it should be a two, uh, two systems for each and every transactions. So, when uh, each financial transaction is closely analyzed, it reveals two aspects. One aspect will be uh, receiving aspects or uh, incoming aspects or uh, expenses aspects or loss aspects. 
So, this termed as an debit aspects, the other aspects will be giving aspects or outgoing aspects or income or gain aspects. This is uh, termed as a credit aspects. So, the basic principles of this system is uh, for every debit there must be a corresponding credit of equal amount and for every credit there must be a corresponding debit for equal amount. And next we are going to see about the types of account. First one is uh, personal accounts. So, accounts uh, related with the person is known as uh, personal accounts. So, if there is a transaction between a person is known as personal accounts. So, it should be divided into three types. So, first one is natural account and second one is artificial account and third one is representative person's accounts. So, natural accounts is nothing but uh, it is a person's account. For example, Mr. A's account, Shyam's account, Meena's account like that. And next one is artificial person's account. An artificial, uh, so the transaction between uh, artificial persons that means a firm's account, a company's account, ABC company limited account like that. So, third one is uh, representative person's account. So, uh, the transaction related to the person should be uh, considered as a representative person's account that means salary account and outstanding account like that. So, next uh, types of account is a real account. So, accounts that related with the assets is known as uh, real accounts. It may be a current assets or it may be a fixed assets. So, next one is a uh, uh, nominal account. Accounts related with expenses and income is said to be as a uh, nominal accounts. Nominal means it is a nominee. So, next we are going to see about the golden rules of uh, accounting. Uh, so, it is uh, nothing but a basic rules of accounting. So, from this uh, rules we are going to prepare each and every uh, 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 accounts, every uh, transactions. So, next one, uh, first one is first golden rule is personal account. Uh, personal account means the rule is uh, debit the receiver and credit the giver. And uh, second one is real account. In real accounts the golden rule is uh, debit what comes in, credit what goes out. And third one is nominal account. In nominal account, uh, debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. Next one is uh, accounting concept. So, there are 10 accounting concepts here. Uh, first one is a business entity concept. So, business entity concept is uh, in accounting, uh, we are making a distinction between the owners and also the business. So, the proprietor is considered as a creditor uh, to the extent of capital brought in the business uh, by him. For example, when a person uh, invests rupees 10,000 in a business, it will be treated that the business has borrowed from the owner and it will be shown as a liability in the books of accounts. So, next one is a going concern concept. So, the enterprise is normally viewed as a continuing an operation for the foreseeable future. And next one is money measuring concept. So, money measuring concept is an the concept uh, the main purpose of uh, making the accounts is to uh, measure the money positions. Okay. Next one is dual aspect concept. So, in case of accounting uh, there are there should be a, a two uh, aspects. First one is um, give, uh, money giving aspect, receiving of benefit aspect and giving of a benefit aspect. For example, if a firm sells uh, goods of ru for rupees uh, 5000, uh, one, first one aspect is uh, delivering of goods and then second aspect is uh, uh, receiving of cash. That should be a uh, two aspects in uh, accounting. And next one is uh, periodicity uh, aspect. Periodicity aspects are the all the books of accounts must be closed and evaluated uh, periodically. The period is normally uh, 12 months. And next one is uh, cost uh, concept. So, the money values that are assigned to the assets are uh, derived from the cost concept. For example, if a business buys a plant uh, for rupees 5 lakhs, even if the market value of that plant is uh, at the time of uh, happens to be rupees uh, 6 lakhs. So, thus assets are recorded at the original price that is uh, rupees 5 lakhs. And next one is a uh, realization concept. It is a process of converting cash uh, that means non-cash resources. For example, revenue is considered as earned the date 
which should it should be it is realized and next the next one is a matching concept that is eight one is matching concept it is a process of matching the expenses with the revenue so revenue earned during a period will be measured only when the revenue uh, realized with the uh, with that period and next one is uh, accrued uh, concept accrual concept so makes it makes a distinction between the receipt of cash and right to receive the payment of cash and the legal obligation uh, to pay for that so next one is um, tenth one is objective evidence concept so the objective uh, refers to the vetability or reliability and absence of the bias so next accounting uh, conventions so conventions of uh, first one is a convention of full disclosure so all accounting statements should be prepared uh, honestly so the statement fully disclosing the significant uh, information so next one is um, conven convention of uh, consistency so convention of uh, consistency accounting practice should main uh, main unchanged from one period to another period so if a representation is charged on fixed assets according to the straight line method so that should a uh, method should be uh, followed from year to year so a third one is uh, convention of materiality so uh, materiality means uh, relative importance so all important items and facts should be disclosed in accounting statement is uh, known as uh, convention of materiality and next one is uh, uh, convention of uh, convert, uh, conservatism convention of uh, conservatism means an account should record lowest possible values for assets and revenue and highest possible values for liabilities and expenses so next uh, we are going to see about the journal entry journal entry means uh, uh, recording the business transactions in the journal um so journal entry is nothing but uh, recording each and every business transactions in the uh, journal prepare means a, a, a prepared journal for each uh, transaction a separate entry is recorded so uh, the from each and every transaction in the business a separate entry is recorded in the journal books so before recording the transaction is analyzed to determine which account is to be debited and which account is to be credited so in ke, in, a, in the case of entering the journal entry so the recording person should analyze uh, which entry is to be recorded uh, uh, debited that means and which entry is to be credited so a performa is given um, uh, investor shares of uh, tata cotton mills limited and paid for the same uh, in cash for rupees uh, 2000 so here uh, in the journal entry uh, debit uh, debit the investment account because the cash went out so debit wall uh, debit pot comes in and debit credit pot goes out so here cash went out so we should be credit the cash and in the form of uh, investment account it should be debited so next one is uh, ledger account uh, it is a books which contain various accounts so there should be a separate account for uh, uh, every uh, nature of transactions so in simple word ledger is nothing but it's a reason a set of accounts so it contains a set of accounts it includes all accounts of the business enterprise whether real account nominal account or personal accounts so in the ledger books it includes all types of accounts all the real accounts and also nominal accounts all the types of accounts an example is given here um, dolmia's account so first we are opening balance should be uh, debited and uh, closing balance should be uh, credited okay. so for example uh, purchase account sales account uh, like that so next one is uh, subsidiary books of accounts there should be a separate books of accounts is used for each category of business transactions which are repetitive in nature similar and a sufficient large in number so if the uh, entries the transactions is large in number the, there should be prepared a separate books for uh, each category based on the nature of that account so special journal refers to the journals mean for uh, recording specific business transaction of similar nature so uh, similar nature transaction should be recorded in a separate books these uh, special journals are known as uh, subsidiary books or it may be called as a uh, day books for example uh, cash books purchase book sales book purchase return book sales return book 
bills receivable book bills payable look book like that so next we are going to uh, see about the trial balance so in case of various debit balance and the credit balance of the different accounts are taken down in your statement so it is a, a statement of accounts so the statement so prepared is termed as a trial balance so the statement uh, should be prepared is known as a, a trial balance a trial balance is a statement containing the various ledger balance on a particular date so the trial balance is nothing but an uh, it is a um, con contains the various ledgers we already prepared the ledgers balance should be entered in the as a uh, entered in the trial balance on a particular date so i give an example here thank you thank you uh, thanks for watching this video thank you to all